Nick, welcome to Burton Albion. How does it feel? How happy are you to sign for the Brewers today? Thank you. Um, I feel very happy, to be honest. Like It's an exciting time in my journey and I just can't wait to get started. And how did the move come about? It came about a couple of weeks ago, didn't it? But all things yeah. have sort of moved, gathered pace, haven't they? Yeah, no, I picked up quite fast. A couple of weeks ago, I reached out and then from there, for me, it was like a no-brainer to, to come. And then, yeah, I'm just happy that the move happened quite quickly and I'm just happy to be here. And obviously, like, your mother as well, she didn't know that you were moving, literally just turned up and said, more I've got a contract. Yeah, no, my parents didn't have a clue, so I planned, uh, obviously, the journey back. I messaged one of my good friends, Emmanuel, so I thank him again for, for helping me with this, surprised my parents, and, um, yeah, they were very shocked when I arrived at the door. They didn't know what to say or what to do, really, but, yeah, it was, it was, it was a good surprise. And then let's just go into your journey a bit because it's something that people might not be familiar with. So you started off your career at Wimbledon? Yeah, so did two years scholarship there um, at Wimbledon, then got released, played non-league for a couple months, six months. Then I went up to America, uh, did college there four years, so two years in Tennessee, Wesleyan, and then two years at Kaiser in Florida, and then played summer league for Tormenta, which is a team I, I was actually signed at and then played there for the last two seasons. So for people who don't know, what is the difference in playing in America with obviously the extreme heat, the lake, the constant lake kick off, the huge travel times? What's the difference if I had to play in England? Yeah, so like you said, the, the travel times are very different. So instead of maybe traveling three to four hours, like you're traveling eight, nine, ten hours on a bus sometimes. Obviously the heat is, it plays a big factor. It, it can get very hot. Um, obviously the stadiums, the pitches, it's not, it's not always on grass, it can be on AstroTurf as well. So it's just one of those things that you, you have to kind of get used to, but it's one of those experiences that you, you thoroughly enjoy because it's just something you, uh, it's out of your comfort zone. But, and then the call came for you to return to England. Was that part of the pull to come to the club? Was to be in League One back in England, back close to home? Yeah, I mean, first and foremost, coming back home and playing was, was always a thing that was on my radar just to try and do. And, the fact that it was it was League One and and this this opportunity doesn't really come often a lot, so it was a it was a no-brainer for me to, to to come. And obviously the club at the moment, as you've seen, there's been a bit of change in terms of like the new boards. Obviously there's changes around the stadium. It's a very exciting time to be at Burn Up, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's a very exciting time. Obviously there's a lot of changes, and I'm part of the change, so I'm just happy to get started and I just can't wait for, for everyone to to see what we can do. And obviously you know a little bit about our new head coach, Mark Robinson. Yeah. Have you spoke to him yet? What has he said about the club? I mean, yeah, obviously I know Robert through uh, under-18s at Wimbledon. Um, he was my coach there. I spoke to him a bit about the changes and what he wants to do and his plans. So, yeah, it was it's exciting times. And like, like I said to him, I'm, I'm excited to be here and, and, and play for him. So for fans who don't know, who is, who is Nick Akar? What are you like firstly off the pitch as a person, would you say? Um, off the pitch, it depends. Like, if you don't really know me, I'm very quiet. I can be shy. People say I'm shy, but if you get to know me and open up, then you get the fun side and, you know, a bubbly character, a uh, lovely person. And obviously, just, I, I like to keep myself to myself as well sometimes, but I'm just all around a very nice person to be around. <laughs> and what about on the pitch as well? Right back? Yes. Broad, didn't like to get forward? Well? Yeah, right back and attacking full back. I like to get forward. Try to get in the final third quite a lot, so I'll try to be exciting as much as on the pitch for you guys and, and hopefully contribute in, in, in goals and, and assists for the club. And just finally, it's obviously very, very exciting to League One divisions and the big, big teams in there. Who are you excited to face in most next year? Um, I think every single team, really. Every single team is going to be a challenge, so I, don't, I wouldn't say specifically a certain team, but the fact that there's so many big teams and, and so many well-respected teams in this league right now that Every game that you, you, you play, you should be motivated to, to beat them. So uh, I look forward to that challenge. Nick, welcome to Burton Albion. Thank you very much.